Hello everyone, this is Mr. Tipton, and today we are back to do some more converting using dimensional analysis, but today we will be converting area and volume instead of just our standard length and weight and capacity. Area conversion rates. If you want to know where they came from, please feel free to ask me in class. I'll be more than happy to show you where they came from, but for now, just understand that what we did yesterday with converting, we were only co converting one-dimensional things. Like if this line that I just drew was, you know, four inches, that's the kind of converting that we were doing. But today, we're going to talk about converting area. Two-dimensional things, things that have length and width. So while there is one, or while one foot is 12 inches, one square foot is 144 square inches. One square yard is nine square feet. One square centimeter is 100 square millimeters. One square meter is 10,000 square centimeters. Again, if you want to know where these conversion rates came from, just ask. I'd be more than happy to show you. All right, but let's do some actual converting. It's actually going to be uh, the, the same process as it has been. We're just working with some numbers that we're not used to seeing. We don't convert uh, what we, we've never needed to convert area and volume before. Uh, but starting with the area, here we go. Nine square feet is what we have. And it looks like we want square inches time sign fraction line label my label is square feet because that's what I'm starting with and what do we know well most people if they're gonna make a mistake they're gonna write down well there's 12 inches in a foot and that's true but inches and feet are not the labels that we have here we have square inches and square feet and on the previous slide, previous screen, I told you that one square foot was equal to 144 square inches. 12 inches in a foot, but 144 square inches in a square foot. Square inches is what we want, so we're ready to multiply. 9 times 144 is 1,296 over 1. So there are 1,296 square inches in a square foot. I'm sorry, in 9 square feet. The process, the dimensional analysis, hasn't changed. Again, just working with a little bit of less common numbers. Less common so far in your life, anyway. Um, 7,500 square centimeters is how many square meters? What do I know about square centimeters and square meters? Well, I know that there are 10,000 square centimeters in one square meter. And that's what we're looking for. So on the top, I have 7,500. On the bottoms, the denominators, I've got 10,000. And when I divide that, I get 0 0.75 square meters in 7,500 square centimeters. So that's area. Let's look at volume really quickly. Here are the volume conversion rates. Again, before we were doing length, one dimensional. We just got done talking about area, which is two dimensional. Right, if this was you know, if this was four inches, then I made it a square, four inches by four inches. But you know now, talking about volume, we're talking about thing that has things that have length and width and height. Four inches, four inches, four inches. One cubic foot, you see I've drawn a cube. One cubic foot is 1,728 
cubic inches. One cubic yard is 27 cubic feet. And you can see the metric ones there. I'm not going to read them to you this time. But I will convert one with you. Four cubic feet is how many cubic inches. Time, sign, fraction, line, label. And those are going to cancel. I need them to. I want them to. That's why I put cubic feet on the bottom. And what do I know about cubic feet and cubic inches? There are 1,728 cubic inches in one cubic foot. And that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to multiply and get 6,912 over 1. So there are 6,912 cubic inches in 4 cubic feet. Please know the dimensional analysis, the process for converting, is no different. We're just using some numbers for uh, some units of area and volume that you're not used to seeing. But there they are written down for you. Should be no problem to do your practice. But if you have questions, write them down. We'll talk about them tomorrow. See you soon.